Hello guys, this is Vidas. Pantusha. And let's start episode 19 of Ask Vidas and Osha podcast. Today's question was sent by Robert. And um, he is studying um, um, PS.org right now, BWV 572. And um, his question is about the uh, last pay, last episode, Lentema. Uh, where there are a number of 30 second 30 second notes and for him it's it's almost like he has to memorize these three pages so he asks what's the best approach to learn it um osha you are practicing this piece right now so yes. what's your experience with with this section it's quite comfortable for me, it feels, because, you know, you play three notes in the left hand and then three in the right hand throughout all the ending pages, so it's, it's not that hard for me. Mm -hmm. What would be the the tricky part for, for an average uh, person to, to play this correctly? Why Robert is, is uh, stuck here, what do you think? Well, you know, the problem might be, you know, that if you are practicing in faster tempo than you should, the texture might get muddy, you know, you might lose some of the notes. Mm -hmm. So your so, suggestion is to really slow down considerably? Yes, to slow down, yes. And especially it's a case if you are practicing on non-mechanical organ. Because if you are practicing it on the piano or on, on, on the mechanical, you know, organ, then it should be fine because it gives you sort of, you know, gravity on the key. And resistance. But, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Resistance and, you know, when you cannot play, you know, as fast and things will not get muddy. But, but otherwise, yes. And you should not, you know, lose the beat, strong beat. Mm-hmm. Because the meter here is 12.8. So I would suggest that you have, you know, two strong beats in each measure. One and three. Basically, the downbeat and the middle of the measure, right? Yes, and middle of the measure, yes. Mm -hmm. That's and if you would look at the harmony, this is also the point on the strong beat and then on the middle of the measure when the harmony actually changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would Robert benefit from playing, let's say, just one line at a time, one system at a time, and then stopping and repeating? Well, that might work too. That might work too. Actually, I think, you know, if, you know, if things will get muddy, you could work probably practicing, like, rit different rhythmical uh, combinations. For example, not playing all the smooth notes, you know, or equal notes, mm -hmm. but uh, making, like, a dot, you know. Right. But actually, um, you can also reverse the dotted rhythm rhythms, right? Yes, you can do yes. The first yes. long yes. and the second short, but then you reverse yes. short, long, short, long. Uh, that's also helpful. Uh, Osha, but um, the middle movement for me when I played it was uh -huh. more difficult, uh, right? The the five part texture, yes. polyphonic texture. Yes, because requires. the texture was so thick, and you know you have to be very careful about what leading the middle section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although it's slow, but but lots of things are going on there. Yes. Um, yeah, and and you need to learn in separate voices and voice combinations, and there are not four voices, but five there. So uh, you have to multiply the combinations considerably. And sometimes even six actually voices. Six, right at the end. Yes. Mm hmm. Exactly. So, um, what do you think uh, would be your suggestion for the beginning section, uh, Trevi Tema? 
Oh, actually, yes. And for me, the beginning actually is uh, trickier than the end. Uh-huh. Because sometimes my tempo is changing in this section. Mm -hmm. Because at, at the beginning we have the 16 notes, but then also the 8 notes at the end of the you know, passage. And then there is that section where you know you have all 16 running and two 30 seconds at the end of the measure. Yes. And this sort of gives me probably the most trouble. Because I I sort of get a rhythmic spasm on those 30 seconds. But actually what works for me is that, you know, I actually, I count and I set divide with my tongue 60 notes right mm -hmm. from the beginning. So you, you have to hear it, right? Uh, listen to the subdivisions. Yes. yes. And yes. if you succeed in listening, then you will succeed in playing. Sure. Uh-huh. Then it will be not too fast and uh, not uh, not too rushed. Sure. Good advice. Um, uh, so I hope people will benefit from from this answer, and please send us more of your questions. Uh, overnight, a couple of people have sent me a couple of questions, and uh, today we're going to record those answers. And uh, this this is going to be really fun, Osha, right? Excellent, yes. Um, where people can find out more about uh, uh, our um, activities and blog and, 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 and subscribe to get the opportunity to email us? Of course, at our webpage. Mm -hmm. www.organdua.lt Yes, if you subscribe there f to get updates and uh, daily, daily for ten days mini course, right, of organ playing, uh, then then you will get the opportunity to, to connect with us and ask, ask those questions. This is uh, the best way, probably, to contact us. Excellent, uh, guys, go ahead and practice because when you practice. Miracles happen.